Alright, so again I'm just using a little one chord jam from a keyboard, just got a drum beat and I was just playing a G7 and a little funk jam thing, great for practicing over. Uh, in this case I'm playing uh, my C major scale in 7th position, uh, but I'm actually starting on the B. It would be a G mixolydian scale if we were playing from G to G, and since it's a, a G7 uh, chord being played, we'd refer to this as kind of a G mixolydian sound. But anyway, it's just a C scale basically. Uh, we're going to start by starting with the B on the seventh fret of your low E, and then C right beside it, half step, and then D with the pinky, so you're going one, two, four. You also go one, two, four on your fifth string, still in seventh position, for an E, F, G. When you get to your fourth string, you're going to go one, three, four for A, B, C. When you get to your third string, go one, three, four again for D, E, F. So, so far it's pretty easy because we're going one, two, four, one, two, four on the fifth and sixth, then one, three, four, one, three, four on the fourth and third, giving us B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F. Then we're going to shift forward. We're going to play the G on the 8th fret, uh, A on the 10th fret, and then B on the 12th fret. So two whole steps there, a little bit of a stretch. And then we'll do the same thing on the high E string for C, D, E. So all together we have 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4 on the, the two bottom strings, 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4 on the middle two strings, and then we're going to shift forward to go 8th fret, 10th fret, 12th, 8th, 10th, 12th, on one and two. I'm only picking the first note of each string and then I'm hammering with my my right hand. So I pick the, the B, hammer the C, hammer the D. Same thing on the next string. So I'm just picking once per string and I was playing 16th note triplet so I was putting six notes in each beat. Triplet, 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 tick, tick, tick like that. And then when I got to the top, I kept moving up the scale, so I moved up to 10th position and went 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4 to give us on strings 1 and 2 for an A, B, C, D, E, F. Then I shift into 12th for 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 4 for B, C, D, E, F, G. Then I stretch forward, and this looks a lot like the one we ended uh, the, the first riff with, uh, C, D, E, F, G, A, um, 13, 15, 17 on strings 1 and 2, and I was just keeping that that same pattern. So it's a great way to work on your slurring um, with a scale. You can move it to any key and just have fun with the jam track. Alright, have fun!